On this episode of the Carolina Sports Guy, we're going to dive in, folks, and look at the Carolina Panthers. You know, it's the offseason, and I'm getting itchy. Before you get into today's content, make sure you subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Pound that like button, hit that bell notification to be notified of future videos like this on the Panthers. And by all means, folks, leave me some comments. I love the dialogue. All right, folks. Well, it's been a while. I've taken some time off. And... Um, Really, I'm, I kind of feel like we're stuck. I kind of feel like the Panthers are stuck in the mud a little bit. A few things I wanted to talk about in the video, and I think two key things I want to say is it looks like uh, sayonara, um, that we're going to part ways uh, with Hassan Reddick. Of course, congratulations to him. He gambled on a one-year deal. Showed us what he was worth. I'd love to have him back. I think he's an outstanding player. But with our salary cap situation and where we stand um, and just where we are, if we were one player away or or just a situation where we had our roster built for a, a deep playoff run, I could see spending the money, making it work to bring him back. But we just, we just have too many holes to spend that kind of money, and he's a luxury. And, you know, good for him. Uh, the one year he was here, he earned his contract. I can't fault him. I wish he was back. Uh, now, Stephon Gilmore, what a wasted pick. Now, I realize we didn't give up a lot. I think at the time we were 3-0 and or, you know, he had lost J.C. Horn. We thought it would be good to bring him in and see what we had. And uh, it, it kind of, uh, you know, backfired. We, we didn't play the half a season, didn't play terribly bad, but even giving up a late round draft pick as a rental that didn't pan out. Um, I hate to lose him, but that is one position with uh, uh, C.J. Henderson and J.C. Horn being back. Maybe we'll bring back Dante Jackson. I'm not sure. Uh, with Chin at safety, um, would be nice to have another safety to pair up. But I think we're really desperate, desperate need right now at linebacker. And um, – no, who are we going to get to replace Hassan Reddick, or, or do we do it by committee uh, on defense? Um, but those are two key losses. Now, Frankie Louvu being back, you know, that was a good signing. I, I like that. I thought he was a heart of a special teams. He played good at defense. You know, we've got to get rid of, of, of uh, Carter. Um, I'm just not impressed with Jermaine Carter's game. He was way out of position, way too much. We've restructured Shaq Thompson. Um, that could work well with us for Siler Cap. He has been the long-standing Panther. He was here for Super Bowl 50. Uh, and I, I'm really glad that we bring, bring about the kicker, Zane Gonzalez. It, honestly, if Zane Gonzalez just kind of does as he did last year, we've got a solid kicker. And we don't have to worry about what we went through with Joey Sly last year or, or previous situations when Gano was in a slump. Um, or a guy like Santos off the street didn't pan out. I really like that a lot. Now, we have the same issues, same dealing with a quarterback. I don't want to get in this situation of going for a Trubisky. I don't want to get in this situation of getting a Garoppolo. I think we need to, to go with Darnold, okay? Um, now, hear me out. I'm not saying Darnold's going to be any better, but we got to swallow this better medicine. And if we suck, maybe we'll get a high pick next year and we can finally get a quarterback. There's a couple quarterbacks in this draft. I just think we really need to concentrate on the line. It's my opinion. Malik Willis, in my opinion, is tempting because of the athletic ability. If he shines and we didn't draft him, it's going to hurt very bad. But if we draft him and he is not the caliber where we pick him at, it's going to set this franchise back even further after, you know, Teddy Bridgewater, after, uh, you know, Sam Darnold. And then even bringing back Cam. I, I feel bad for Cam. I wouldn't mind having Cam come back for another year and, and play a role. Uh, I just don't know if that's going to work out. Um, I, I really kind of like, have liked to have seen Matt Rule use them better at the end of the season and give him at least a final hurrah. would have been a better send-off, in my opinion. I just I don't like the way they've done the man. Um, you know, they, they brought him back on better terms than when they released him. But still, at the same time, Matt Rule didn't do him any favors. Uh, as far as his coaching staff, we've got some issues. I, I don't have a problem with Ben McAdoo uh, coming in as offensive coordinator, but Matt Rule, 
he's really on some shaky ground, folks. I think Scott Fitter is starting to take the reins from him a little bit, and I'm glad to see that. I think that's what needs to be done if we can. Now, the one glaring thing, and a lot of people are going to say it, it's a necessary evil in the room, Christian McCaffrey. Where we stand as a franchise, common sense, and if you want to do what's right for the franchise, it says get what you can for Christian McCaffrey now. If you can get a first-round pick and a good player, do it now. Let's rebuild. Let's do it. But the other thing is, folks, it's like living in a mansion and having two nice cars, a beautiful wife, and uh, nice clothes. And one day they foreclose on the mortgage. You lose your home. You're out. Uh, you lose your wife. You lose all your possessions. And you got the shiny Ferrari. It's kind of hard letting that go because at least you do have some status. At least you can drive around and still look rich. And that's the thing with McCaffrey. As long as we have him and he plays for us, even if we only win six or seven games, it's nice to have one of the better running backs, one of the more explosive players in the league. Now, I know the last two years injuries have caught up to him, but my big fear is folks are going to trade him. We're not going to get just compensation. He's going to go somewhere and shine. He's going to have another 2,000-yard season. He's going to explode. He's going to do well. He is going to finally be used for what he should be done. Now, Federer would like to use him in the slot more. I have no problem with that. I still think he can play running back like Rule says. But Rule wants to use him exclusively at tailback. I mean, you got to mix him up with him. I don't want to lose McCaffrey. I think it's inevitable it's going to happen. But in my opinion, keep something that you've got that's worth a damn. Something. Brian Burns, Jeremy Chin, Christian McCaffrey. Let the chips fall where they may. Um, I'll do another video talking about the draft and what we should do there. But I just kind of wanted to focus on some of the situations. Now, we do have free agency coming up. I think we can get some pretty decent offensive line help. Don't have to pick every position, but it's got to be better than Pat F. Line and Cam Irvin were last year. If we can find one or two good picks, it would help. It really helped to find a linebacker, too, as we're limited with our draft picks in this draft. So to me, that's the two key things. Finding a linebacker, uh, you know, wouldn't hurt to have another defensive end, but they're hard to come by. They're expensive. But the linebacker on defense could be picked up and getting a couple pieces on the offensive line, uh, you know, maybe a special team piece or two. That's my opinion. Okay, folks, what do you think of today's video? Do you think that we need to go out and make a big splash in free agency? Do you think we need to go out and get a quarterback? Hey, the Sean Watson rumors, are they true? Because if they are, we're going to be giving up a lot to get him, and that does worry me a little bit because it can set us back even farther for what we have. Leave me some comments. I love the dialogue. Pound that like button. Hit that bell notification. Be notified of future videos like this on the Panthers. And by all means, folks, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. We'll see you on another episode of Carolina Sports Guy.